Well, thanks for joining us here on this special edition of 4 News Now. I'm Jordan Smith. Today was a day that brought the entire city of Spokane together. Bloomsday. Today was the 47th installment of this cherished race. Everyone from younger kids to older adults were running the seven and a half mile journey throughout town. Along with the runners, thousands of volunteers were helping every corner of the race. Peter Troy was at the race this morning. He highlights the amazing work of those volunteers. Nearly 30,000 people are participating this year's Bloomsday. And without volunteers, there's no blooms. Are you ready? You guys, are you ready to do this? Let's make some noise. <laughs> Let's go! Spooky streets are filled with music. And runners dancing All right, you guys, you guys. and warming up. One, two, All one, right, two. For the city's annual race, Boomsday. <laughs> At the very front of the starting line, you will find a volunteer like Patrick Bolton. Bring the energy before the race. He says this is his first time emceeing for the event. This is awesome. It's so cool seeing so many people in such a great mood and really ready to do this, so it's fun. The Bloomsday communication director says more than 4,000 volunteers from all different backgrounds showed up on Sunday with one goal, to make this race run smoothly. Former police officer Tom Salberg is volunteering to continue the legacy of serving the public. They figured that someone who's been in law enforcement should be able to handle a uh, starter's pistol. For any emergency situation, medical crews are on the lookout. We, we have a group of, of folks that are all nurses and work at the hospital, and we're here to you know help the community through potential uh, medical emergencies while they're here. Wet water, dry water, better water, best water. And don't forget to grab a water cup on the way out. Like water. I get to have fun handing out water. The city comes together, lots of support for all the runners, lots of a uh, huge range of people in the race between you know kids and older people, runners, walkers. So yeah, I think the volunteers really uh, helped add to the energy and made it fun. In Spokane, Peter Choi, Foundation. A great job by our Peter Choi there. And then for News Now, morning reporter Destiny Richard was also participating in this year's Bloomsday. And take a peek at this year's Bloomsday t-shirts. Remember, those are hidden from the runners until they cross the finish line. And those turned out to be pretty cool. I like those a lot, Matt. And then here are some of the snapshots we took today of Bloomsday 2023. But we want to see your photos, so submit them on our website, kxoy.com.